Race number 13 on the Casualty Dex Cup Series brings us to Pocono Raceway for the running of the Burger King 500. BKTV, I love this place. <laughs> Can't resist to do that. Anyway, Mike Becker is on the pole for this race alongside of him, Robbie Boggess in the 22. Row 2, John Douglas and Stephanie Naylor, good qualifying run for her. Row 3, Josh Osborne and Jake Cole. Row 4, Hayden Klein and Ryan Cooper. This race usually tends to be a wreck fest here at Pocono. Let's hope it ain't. And the green flag waves and we are underway here at Pocono. Mike Becker with a good start. Long back stretch, three, long front stretch, 3,740 feet long. They tend to fan out at this point. But they better get down the two wide in the turn number one where it funnels a little bit. bit. Turn one is 14 degrees and banking. And oh, somebody in the grass. That is Hayden Klein in the grass. It's like, whoa, we got a crash. Matthew Rodriguez is in the crash. He gets hit by Trey Campbell. Hayden Klein's in it. Eric Webler in the 18's in it. Charles Jackson in the 15. Somebody's upside down. Man, are we going to have anybody left in this race? This is lap one for Pete's sake. Eric Webler smoking very bad. <sighs> well, let's look again as to what caused this larger than life crash here at Pocono. It all started at this point. Hayden Klein gets shoved. Yep, he gets hit by Jake Cole. Shoves Hayden in the grass. Now he gets back on the racetrack. Dougie Shears is just passing. He just missed the crash. Tim Frolick in a six. Now watch this. The whole thing is going to start when he when Matthew Rodriguez crashes. There's the 15 of Charles Jackson. He goes out of your picture. But he crashes. Now watch Hayden Klein. He's going to go back up the track. And gets nailed by Racer DSM into the catch fence on top of Charles Jackson's car. Dalton Day and... Well, that answers who was upside down. It was Dalton Day in the 17. And Batson in the 99 gets through it. Whew, Dalton Day almost gets hit by Jacob Rodriguez in the 33 car. Alex Filter all wrinkled up in the 88 car. Let's ride on board with Dalton Day. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody. He was through in the crash, and then this happened. That is not what you want to see. A good look at the racetrack, but from the wrong end. Wow. From Ann Batson's car. I think she she might have got in this crash. Let's see. Let's ride with Ann. but she did an awesome job getting through that crash. She was in it for sure. Whew. Horrible crash here at Pocono. 
Apparently something went wrong with Anne's car. She's nowhere to be found. Yep, she's out of the race. If something went... Must, must have been mechanical problems to Ann Batson's car that's knocked her out of the race. She was through the crash, no doubt. Anyway, Mike Becker leads the race here. Pace cars, lights are off. Mike Becker leads. Josh Osborne's running second. John Douglas in third. Jake Cole fourth. Tim Gardner running fifth. And it's Dougie Shears. Keith Batson, Dylan Poteet. Tim Frolic and Ryan Cooper, the top ten as we go back. Under green here at Pocono Raceway. Fanning out. Tim Gardner way down on the inside. Josh Osborne going for the lead here. He's yet to win the Casual GTX Cup Series. And Josh Osborne showing some of that horsepower in the Jennifer, jo Jennifer Joe Cobb car. Takes the lead. Very competitive driver, no doubt. Going down to turn third turn. That's the flattest turn on the track. Six degrees of banking. Three different turns and three different straights. Now we head on to the long front straightaway. 3,740 feet long. Osborne leads the lap. Four laps to go. Mike Becker running a second. Here comes Mike to the inside. Does he make the move? No, he does not. Turn one, 14 degrees of banking. Now on to the long pond straightaway, 3,055 feet of banking. Or excuse me, in a, a race, a, the tar, straightaway, I should say, excuse me. Now to the eight degree bank, turn two. And on to the long, north chute, 1,780 feet long. And now to the third turn, this is a flat six degree bank track. board with Josh Osborne. This is what driver wants to see. Nothing. Rocks the start finish line. Three laps remaining. Does Josh Osborne hold on to win his first Castle Genius Cup Series race? Looking real good right now for it. Josh wants to win this first one so bad that he's been, this is his second season in the series. He keeps the Jennifer Joe Cobb car for season two. But Mike Becker, he wants to be the party sport. He too is looking for that first one. He's got the inside lane looking for the lead. He's got it in the turn number three. Yes, he does. Mike Becker to the top spot in number 43 STP car. Tim Gardner in the second position. He's alongside Josh Osborne. Two laps to go. Gardner and Osborne side by side. Tim Gardner takes second. Now he's got a sight set on the 43 car of Mike Becker. Does he have enough time though to try to catch him? Tim Frolic in the six car. He goes inside of the 13 car. Mike Becker has the lead. Josh Osborne smacks the wall out of turn two. Mike Becker has the lead. They come down this time by. It'll be the white flag. It'll be one more lap to go here at Pocono. But, but Tim Gardner is getting closer. Does he have enough time? He is getting closer. White flag. Tim Gardner showing some speed in that Chevrolet. Here he comes to the inside of the 43 car. But Tim Gard but Mike Becker slams the door on Tim Gardner out of the second turn. First win either way for any of the three cars up front. Nothing doing for Tim Gardner in this time, Bright. Got one more shot. That's turn three. Mike Becker holding it smooth and steady down to the third and fourth turns now. Down to the third turn, I should say. There's three turns at Pocono. And out of turn number three, Mike Becker takes King Richard Petty's car to victory lane. He wins the Burger King 500 here at Pocono. 
Tim Gardner, a valiant try, finishing second position. Tim Frolic, third. Dylan Poteet finishes fourth. Ryan Cooper, fifth. Aaron Reed finishes in sixth position. Ashley Sears, a good run for her, finishing seventh. Josh Osborne, almost won it, finishes in eighth. Keith Batson, ninth. And Eric Matthews, the tenth position. John Douglas finishes eleventh. Connor Breton comes home twelfth. Johnny Gardner, Jake Cole, Paige Johnson, Robbie Boggus finishes in 16th. Dougie Shears, Jake Richards, Keon Shaw, and Emily Johnson in the top 20. Boy, look at that. 22nd to 40th is the attrition list. 21 cars out of the race. Several of them. Adam Chambers, a horrible year continues for him. After finishing the last season third in the points chase. But the win goes to King Richard Pace car. That is Mike Becker. He has won the Burger King 500 here at Pocono Raceway. And here's the points, how they run right now. Ryan Cooper has the lead by 111 points. Charles Jackson, Mike Becker, Alex Filter, Josh Osborne shoots up to the top five, finish in, in the fifth position. Hayden Klein, Jack Richards, Hunter Carlson, Keith Batson, and Dalton Day, the top ten. There's the rest of the top 20 right now. And Batson drops down the 21st, 21st position because of the crash involving her. Racer DSM, 22nd. Aaron Reed, horrible, horrible year for him after finishing 5th in the points, 23rd. Trey Campbell dropping back a bit. Some of our female drivers aren't uh, faring very well right now in the points chase here. Stephanie Naylor's 30th right now. Emily Johnson, 34th. And Ashley Sears, 39th in the points. Just... I don't know what's wrong here. Next race on the tour will be at Michigan Speedway for the Hell of a Good Sour Cream Dips 400.